In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly align weapons and even create entirely new poses using a feature called IK Adjustment, included in the shooter version 250A. First, let's create a new shooter controller. If you have your character select in the hierarchy and open the character creator window, the model will be automatically assigned along with all the necessary resource files. As you will probably replace the animations of your character, it's a good practice to create a copy of the animator controller that you want to use instead of using and modifying the original ones. We also recommend to keep those customized files on a different project folder. This way you won't lose any files when upgrading to a newer version of the template. Now that we created our character, we need to check if the head track component is working correctly. The head track is responsible to make the shooter controller aim up and down. So let's enter play mode and look up and down. Every model has a different rig, which means that your character could have different bone orientation. So instead of looking up and down, he could be looking left or right. To fix this issue, you can change the up down axis value in the head track inspector until it looks up and down as you move the mouse up and down as well. Cool, now we can start the preparations for the character to receive any weapon. We have two examples included in the template. One controller that uses the item manager and another that picks one weapon at a time without item management. You can play with the included demo scenes and see what type of gameplay mechanics will fit your game better. Either way, both gameplay styles will require a handler to instantiate the weapons. In this video, I'm going to go with the item manager since it's the most popular choice. So let's assign one to the controller and you will notice that the handlers are automatically created for both hands. In case you choose to not use the item manager, you just need to manually add an empty game object inside both hands. Let's start with the right handler, which is the hand that the character will hold most weapons. I will add a weapon prefab inside the right handler to use it as a reference pose and reset the position and rotation back to 000. Now I'm going to move and rotate only the handler to something near the position a weapon should be in the right hand. It doesn't need to be perfect. We can improve this later on using the IK adjustment tool. Now that we have our handler close to what we want, we can remove this weapon and add it through the IT manager. If we enter play mode, you will notice that the weapon was automatically equipped since I've checked the option auto equip and even if I change to other weapons, they will always instantiate inside the right handler, which is the default handler and they are all already correctly aligned. You can also create custom handlers for specific weapons and assign to the item information in the item list data. Now let's align the left hand, which is the supporting hand for weapons that use the left IK option. If this option is left unchecked, the left arm will play the default animation. Select your Invector controller and open the Shooter Manager component. Go to the IK Adjust tab and click the button to create a new IK Adjust list for your character. This list will contain all the information regarding IK and offset from your different weapon categories and different poses. 
Now click in the Edit IK Adjust button to open the IK Adjust window. In case you have multiple characters that share the exact same rig, you can use the same IK Adjust list and the same handlers as well. Now let's enter Play Mode and select our character to enable the IK Edit Mode. As you can see, it shows the current state and the weapon category. You can switch states by clicking on the crouch or aiming buttons. There are four states that you can create unique poses to it. Standing, standing crouch, aiming and aiming crouch. But first let's lock the camera so that the head track is disabled and we can freely move the mouse around. Let's create a new IK adjust. You can create a copy of this pose later for weapons that use a similar pose by clicking in the button Create Copy. Before we start creating new poses, let's fix the left hand IK for all weapons and states, just like we did with the right handler. Make sure to not move the handlers of the scene view yet, otherwise you will be creating a new pose only for this weapon and right now we want to set a base left IK for all weapons. Use the left offset sliders to position and rotate the left hand until it fits the weapon. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect since we can improve this later on. Now the right handler and the left IK are correctly aligned for all weapons. And now that we have a base, we can start tweaking those poses to better fit our character model. You can deselect the player now so it's easier to see where the handlers are. To create new poses, you can either click on the handlers in the scene view or the buttons in the IK Adjust window. Move or rotate until you are satisfied with the new pose. And you can simply exit play mode. All the changes you did are automatically saved in the IK Adjust list. You can also apply offsets for the spine and head to create more dynamic poses. If you exit play mode and enter again, your new pose is already working. Since 3D models can be big or small, big arms or skinny, the IK Adjust is a pretty cool feature to fit the animation better on your character without the need to create new animations. Well, that's it for this tutorial guys. See you in the next one.